God damn. This violent. No. <laughs> what is dad doing here? Hello, friends and book babes. Welcome back to the channel. And part three, the finale of the Throne of Glass series reading vlog. It's been a long time coming. Taylor Swift reference. Kind of avoiding reading this, to be honest, because I've never read an eight book series before. I already know I'm gonna feel empty inside. Kind of dreading finishing this book, but also we gotta know what happened. We gotta know. I'm on chapter four currently. Haven't read that much, as you can see. It is my day off, so I'm gonna try and get a big chunk of it through at least 100 pages that's my goal i want to read at least 100 pages today anyways i just want to talk about the fact that i didn't register the fact that the fae can transform into different animals <laughs> until now until the chapters with aelin and fen fenris fenri whatever his name is and they were talking about him being a wolf or whatever I was like, wait, he's a wolf? What are you talking about? <laughs> and so I texted Anna, the roommate who loves the series and is reading it with me right now. She's doing a reread, I'm doing first time. But I was like, why did I not register this? Because there's a moment in Empire Storm. I really describe him biting someone as a wolf. But I think I was just so concerned over who he was biting <laughs> that I didn't like stop and think, wait, into a wolf and bit this person what <laughs> gavril being a lion i thought that was a metaphor <laughs> i didn't know that was like for real for real <laughs> i didn't realize rowan turns into a hawk i think i did an air of fire and then just forgot but he can turn into a hawk and i think another part of it has to do with whenever he would like fly somewhere i was just envisioning reese because you know the bat boys they have wings and stuff so I was just envisioning that I think the reason I thought it was a metaphor the whole time is because metaphorically they call Adian um, the white the wolf of the north or something like that the north wolf the white wolf the something they call him a wolf too okay but he doesn't actually turn into a wolf just read chapter three who it's about so sad I I don't like this I don't like this at all <laughs> so, oh i forgot to mention this i cannot wait to see cal and dorian again you guys know i love their friendship so much i can't wait i'll probably cry they better they better see each other again damn it but i just finished chapter four which was mainly in manon and dorian's perspective and the way it ended, it really had me thinking, like, why was Tower of Dawn so thick and about who it was about when I would have vastly enjoyed a book solely in Dorian's point of view instead? Everything that he's been through the and, like, the psychological aspect of it, I feel like it would have been insane because I feel like some of the things he was saying in chapter four was reminding me of the things that the person that Tower of Dawn's about, what that person was thinking in their head. It reminded me a lot of that. And he says, there's no one who would really care about that anyways. Like, I would care, what are you talking about? I love you. Um, He's talking about like Aelin and stuff. And then he's like, all he had was an unmarked grave for a healer no one would remember, a broken empire and a shattered castle. He's just so sad. <laughs> and how like this one thing is like the thing that he needs to do to make everything right. Like it sounds so much like the character for Tower of Dawn and their perspective and everything that they're going through. And so I don't know, I just feel like even though I love Tower of Dawn, I think it could have been like cut in half, but I do love Tower of Dawn and the character development of it, but I would have loved if Dorian had his own book as well, or at least, not even his own book, but at least more moments in Empire of Storm because I feel like his point of views, there weren't very many. And if there were some, it was more about him and Manon. And so I would have loved to have 
delve more into that. Maybe that's why this is so thick. Maybe it's gonna go into it more. And I'd love to have read more of Dorian's like psychological turmoil he's going through basically in Empire Storm or have him have his own little novella or whatever. Need about 80 pages more for my goal today of reading 100. Hi. <laughs> so that last clip you saw, read probably like 100 pages that day, and that was filmed June 17th. It is now August 7th, <laughs> and I have not looked at Kingdom of Ash since that last clip was filmed. I have no excuses other than I'm pretty sure July is my annual book slump month. <laughs> I'm just constantly in a book slump every July for some reason. And and by constant, I mean this is the second time, the second year in a row where that's happened. And I've, li I've literally never, I haven't seen it. I haven't looked at it. It's been in this little book sleeve that I crocheted, which is why it's ugly because I crocheted it. But <laughs> it's been in here since June. This is the this is the first time I'm looking at this book in like a month and some weeks. Yeah, where am I? I'm on page I'm on page 137. Okay, I, I've read a little bit more than I thought. And I'm on chapter 15. So I got to chapter 15 and just never again. I honestly wouldn't be picking this book up if it wasn't for the fact that I'm going to see Anna in like two weeks. I want to read it before I see her so she doesn't bully the crap out of me or maybe even beat me up. I don't know. <laughs> I want to try and finish this before I see her so we can talk about it or and also so I can finally put her out of her misery. She hasn't been mean to me at all during this avoidance era. Yeah, for her sake, since she's being so nice to me about me wait, me not picking this up for like a month and a half, I I have to do it for her, you know? If, but if it wasn't for her, I don't even know how long this avoidance era would last, to be honest with you. It could, it could honestly last the whole year. If, I'm not gonna tell Anna that I'm reading it until I actually read it. <laughs> Cause who knows, I might film this clip and then just watch TV, you know? like. That's just been my go-to as of late. I just want to watch TV. I don't really, I don't want to, I don't want to read. You know, like, and maybe it's because I read the Inheritance games and I actually hated it. I don't understand why everyone liked it so much. If you hated the Inheritance games, let me know because I think I am the only one in the world <laughs> that actually hated every single book um, and somehow still read every single book. All right, friends, we got about a week before I see Anna, so about a week to finish this book. I'm on chapter 21 now, though, um, and all I have to say is, first of all, I love, I don't know how many times I have to say this, I love Irene and Cal so much, Cal, Kale, whatever, um, <laughs> still don't pronounce that boy's name correctly, but I love them so much. Uh, anytime I see Irene, I'm just like, yes, that's my girl. And so, yeah, because I have to say, I feel like we might be getting to the part where I'll start being more invested. Like, I feel like everything's kind of been more set up. Like, I was invested in the beginning because of how the other book ended. Obviously, I'm invested, right? But I'm also at the point where it's like, okay, I'm almost on page two, 200. Can we... Um, fix what's happening at least you know you know how things ended yeah i want that fixed so we can get to the war just hurry up you know <laughs> like i want this section this conflict to be over you know so i think we're getting there um it might be another 50 pages or so but i feel like once we get there that's when i'll be like yes i love reading <laughs> if the next 20 chapters were all a lead and lorkin i would probably read them so fast <laughs> <sighs> guys the anxiety i'm feeling right now starting chapter 26 <laughs> ah! <laughs> but like i predicted we're at the part that I was waiting for and said would get me out of a book slump possibly 
it's already working okay it's already working because now i need to devour this book to see what the frick is going on <laughs> fenris fenris fenry it's been too long i don't remember how to pronounce his name oh my god <laughs> his pov in chapter 26 Ugh. <gasps> no 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 really i really need rowan to hurry the hell up <laughs> because i'm so anxious right now but at least i want to read now so there's that <laughs> lorkin didn't expect the sob in his throat as she raced between the tents <laughs> i can't listen i know one of my main critiques with the akatar series is more people should have died in aka war <laughs> But I'm going to tell you right now, if homeboy actually is dead, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so upset. Yeah, you go back to that camp and handle your business because no, <laughs> they can't do this to him. They can't. I can't. He can't. He's been through too much. I guess it would be like a mercy kill. But no, <laughs> I need him to find love and happiness. So they better not, <laughs> they better not kill him off. <laughs> please, please find a loophole, please. <laughs> it's reminding me of that scene in the Vampire Diaries <laughs> when they, I think it's in season one, maybe season two. I think it's season two. Yeah, because Mason Lockwood's in season two. Yeah, when Damon, like, tortures Mason Lockwood. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what my mind is going to right now. But, oh my god, the reunion, I'm so... <sighs> now I'm gonna devour this book, okay? It's been a month and a half, but now it's time to eat it up, okay? The fact that it's Lorcan and Aelin right now is just so fitting. Eat the reunion with a lead. That's what I need. I can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, listen. Team Resan all day, but, you know, Rowan... Rowan really, he's popping off. Okay, he's popping off. Chapter 41, that whole chapter is just so, so sweet between, between Rowan and Aelin. I just can't. I love it. I love it. I love them. Aiden's being really rude to Lysandra and starting to get on my nerves, but I can, I also get like, what like why he's mad like everyone just leaves him in the dark and it's like aren't you literally number one soldier man whatever the titles are called <laughs> like why are you so in the dark with everything you know so i get it but he needs to get it together chapter 47 guys chapter 47 <laughs> oof this better not end badly this is what happens when i read fantasy and i read like a battle scene or whatever i literally don't even know what's happening for half of it so like what do you mean what do you mean what are you talking about poison what are you talking about how did you even get over there how like i'm just i don't even i don't even question it you know i just read and i just stay confused you know i don't even try to like put the pieces together you know like that's not that's not what i'm gonna do that's not my job witch tower what do you mean who who is here what is going on saw manon's name and almost freaked out i almost thought the reunion was happening i need <laughs> i'm tired of everyone being separated i and doing their own thing okay i need the family back together we we're getting the band back together guys like i need that to have it already like God damn. This violent. A lot of people say Akatar is violent and nobody talks about it. I didn't find it to be that violent. Like, Akawar was definitely the most violent, at least so far, because, you know, I haven't read Silver Flames yet. But honestly, Throne of Glass is like the violent one so far. I also haven't read Crescent City. But I did just give a spoiler about Crescent City. Fun fact literally, like, an hour ago so i'm gonna hope that i just forget the spoiler you know like i'm gonna wait like a year <laughs> before i even read that series so hopefully by then i forget i'm reading i'm reading on my lunch break at work and i just got to the reunion 
one of many that we need, okay? I didn't think it would happen so soon. Well, it's definitely not soon. I'm on page 405. <laughs> so, so that's definitely not soon, but I definitely thought it would happen a little bit later on. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm <laughs> Bitch, I literally forgot about Irene's background and that this reunion means so much to her too. Oh my god, I just, I, I can't believe I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. Oh my god. Listen, y'all. Somehow it's a month later again. <laughs> and I haven't read since before my trip that I was talking about. I um, am on chapter 54 so i'm almost i'm like so close to halfway with this book so it's been a hot minute um my i feel like my hair has been three different colors <laughs> this one vlog alone has been like 20 different styles but yeah i also quit my job <laughs> so maybe my job had something to do with it um i don't know but yeah i have nothing really to say other than Cal, Cal and Irene are so cute. I love them. And also Dorian um, in chapter 55. I didn't think he would use his powers in that way in chapter 55. But I thought it was funny. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. Manon remains that girl. However, I still want Granny to go. I'm like, what do you mean? Get her out of here. No, because tell me why I'm the most dramatic person ever. Because tell me why I still have almost like 400 pages of this book left. And I'm starting to freak out because I'm almost done. I have 400. I have 380 pages to be exact left. And I'm freaking out because I'm almost done. In what world am I almost done? <laughs> First of all. Second of all, the fact that I'm on chapter 70 is freaking me out because I'm on chapter 70. And there's 121 total in this book. And that means that I'm close to the end. Babes, I hate to break it to you, but that's still 50 chapters you gotta do. Like, in what worlds? In what worlds? Does that mean that I'm almost done? In the Sarah J. Mass world, that's what, what world it is, I'll tell you right now. Elid is mothering so hard in chapter 79. Okay? The way, the way she said, I was a defenseless child and survived. You're a grown man. Let's see how you handle this. <laughs> She ate, she ate so bad, she ate, okay? I love that girl, I love her so much. And can we talk about how powerful Dorian is? Cause like, what? <laughs> how, what? <laughs> like, first of all, to think about that and then to be able to do it, like, whoa. Oh my God. Not this love confession. I wasn't, I didn't, I, what? <laughs> I didn't think this was going to happen. I thought they were going to reconcile, but a love confession? Like right now? Let me get my pink highlighter. <laughs> I love them. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I love them. Yeah, you should have told her. I knew the second y'all freaking laid eyes on each other. You barely telling her now. Damn. <laughs> It's a reunion! It's a reunion! We come to honor our friend. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Shut up. <laughs> Page 699. First of all, wild page number. Um, <laughs> the fact that there's still more to go. But anyways... This page is just so cute. I can't. <laughs> uh, what do you say? If I if I don't die tomorrow, may I kiss you when the day is done? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up right now. Ren coming through. Okay. You know, 
I continuously forget that Ren exists, to be honest with you. But he really be coming through, okay? And that's all I have to say. <laughs> that getting to me. Why? <laughs> Why? I swear, if a lead doesn't somehow end up being immortal, I won't be able to handle this because they need to be together forever. Forever. You get me? You get me? I can't, I can't do this. I can't do that trope, okay? I can't do the trope where one of them's immortal and one of them's a human. I can't handle that trope. So please make it not be so, okay? Thank you. Yeah, another reunion! Oh my god, the end of 87. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, you leave my favorite little dragon alone, whatever his name is. I don't accept this. I don't accept this. Whatever, whatever's about to go down for what has just occurred at the end of chapter 88. No, no, not my favorite little beast. Okay, we can't do this. We can't do this. Speaking of beasts, where is Fleetfoot? <laughs> Actually, I just remembered of that little dog. Where is she at? What's she doing? Wasn't she with Evangeline? What's going on? <laughs> this little beast is so sweet. You better not. <laughs> you better not. I will cry. <laughs> and the begging? Not. My girl is begging. My girl is begging for this beast. <laughs> Stop it. She didn't care about any of it if blank was not there with her. This is my girl saying this. <laughs> she just said I love you. She just said I love you. Don't do this, please. <laughs> please, please. I don't think I'll survive if you do this. As she should. You get, you get over there. You handle granny right now. End of chapter 89. <laughs> I can't believe they did that. <laughs> and then the, and it was not darkness, but light, light, bright and pure as the sun on snow. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I literally had to mourn for so long that I forgot about the reunion that literally happened right before. The travesty that occurred. So, let's get back into this reunion at least. Okay, I've read one sentence. How do, how does she expect me to be happy anymore? I was so, I was so excited. I was so happy for this reunion. And now, I'm at the scene where we get, like, actual substance for this reunion. And I can't even be happy about it. <laughs> I can't even be happy about it because what just happened? I actually forgot. No, I'm happy again because I just realized, I just remembered that Aelin is with Cal. So this reunion is about to be so fire right now because you know, you know I've been wanting the Dorian and Cal reunion. <laughs> okay, I'm happy again. It's okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. He wept. He wept. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Dorian, I love Dorian so much. I've always wanted a sister. Shut up. What? Papa? What are you doing here? What is dad doing here? What? Oh my god. Now, this is a twist. Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. 
Rowan, you actually should have known. Like, let's be so for real. <laughs> Rowan. Rowan, he be thinking, bro. He be thinking. Heck yeah, they would not be allowed to take this. You say that again, sister. You say that again. You better preach. You better preach. And the church said amen. Hello? Akatar reference? Did I just see? Did I just see an Akatar reference or am I Delulu? Today's the day, guys. Today is the day we finish this book, which is kind of wild. Okay, we're on chapter 104. There is 121 chapters. Evangeline, oh my god. Why is she having the best speech ever right now? <laughs> they really got me loving Darwin now all of a sudden. Like, what? He wants to... I was wondering if they were gonna kill them all and they did like a page later after I had that thought young Sarah J Mass was ruthless okay there was not this many deaths in Akatar. okay I'll tell you that right now <laughs> I swear to god if my girl dies I can't I can't I can't do this. I swear to God, they better not. They better not. I keep saying my girl to make y'all like have the code words of like, oh yeah, that's her favorite person. And then I realized like everyone's my favorite person, <laughs> especially the women. So that's not helpful, but she better not die. That's all I got to say. Literally went from you can't do this. Don't do it to go save the world. Shut up. I love them so much. The significance of Dorian's name. It's the fact that the dynamic duo is Dorian, Irene, Lysandra, and Alid. Okay, because they handled business in one chapter. <laughs> in one chapter, the business was dealt with. Okay, they're the dynamic team. I said duo. Duo is two. They are just, they are the squad, okay? They are Avengers Assemble. Trust, you will be dealt with. Period. Paige, what is this? 9.37, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he finally got the blood oath. <laughs> Poor kid. Yay. Bruh, even I'm not ready for this goodbye. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> we better see each other again. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> They're the three that started it all. <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not them adding him. As a tattoo for the fallen warrior. Like, obviously, you better do that. But also, I forgot that that was a thing, and now I'm sad. <laughs> and there's like, I have like five pages left. I need to calm down. <laughs> uh, Adian's tattoo. <laughs> I finished. <laughs> Literally, I want to reread the whole series, like right now. <laughs> like right now, I want to reread the entire series because how am I supposed to move on with my life now? What do I do? What do I do now? Oh my God. Okay. Final review, I guess. <laughs> Not even going to collect my thoughts. I'm just going to give the review. Uh, first of all, I was wondering if Miss Sarah was more ruthless in her younger years than she is now. Because in Akatar, I feel like there could have been more deaths. <laughs> the answer is yes! She was so much more ruthless! One I can totally say is the Superior series. Haven't read Crescent City yet, but Throne of Glass series is definitely superior to Akatar plot-wise. 
um, the women in Throne of Glass are superior. The men in Akatar I do like more, I think. My favorite couples in this, this might be controversial, I don't know, I don't care. So like Alid and Lorcan and Ka Cal, Kale, whatever, <laughs> and Irene, they're my top. I'm not even going to lie, they are. That might be controversial, that might be crazy of me to say, but they are my favorite couples. I said what I said. Okay. I love all the couples, okay? I love every single couple. There's not a couple I don't like, but yeah, those two are my top, I think. I just love, just love everything. The ending was so good. Honestly, I think I'm going to give it five stars. Yeah, a part of me is like, there's no need, there was no reason this book had to be a, a thousand pages, and I stand by that. I think the most it could have been is 800 at most, okay, at maximum. Definitely could have gone down to maybe 600, 650. But with all that being said, I'm still going to give it five stars because it was, it was great. It was still great. I don't care. This series literally was with me when I started my job and I finished it when I ended my job <laughs> so my job and this series coexisted at the same time like they are linked together so I think that's funny I don't know what else to say it is the superior series I think you gotta I think there's more hoopla you gotta deal with with this series like the first two and a half three books you kind of gotta like just get through it to get to the good stuff while with Akatar you just gotta get through the first one to get to the good stuff you know and so there's a lot more hoopla with that and then obviously the tandem reading aspect with Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms that's a lot like there's so much I don't know but ultimately Throne of Glass I do think is better ultimately I do like the men in Akatar more like no one's doing it like Rissan, okay? When and when Azra gets his book, okay. No one's doing it like them, okay? This series has been with me for like five months. I can't believe the people that like read it during publishing. Like for some of y'all, this series has been with you for literally like ten years, <laughs> and that's crazy. Like that would be insane. That's wild. One of the best main characters I've read a series about. She's truly just, she is, she is it. Okay, she is the it girl. I loved all the women in this series. Manon is amazing. I wish we had a little kind of epilogue style of like what is going down in the waste and with Manon and with Dorian, and um, with Cal, uh, Kale, and Irene. We got like little shout outs of what was going down for some of the characters, but I wanted something for all of the characters. Like I wanted to see like kind of an epilogue version of what happens with Kale and Irene, and what happens with um, Manon, and the Waste, and what happens with Dorian, and the Kingdom, and all these things. Uh, I wish we got like at least a brief mention of kind of what happens now with them. I really was waiting for Nehemiah to make an appearance. I was very happy that they brought back some of the things she had said. But I do, I was kind of expecting her to show up again and she didn't. So I'm kind of sad about that. But Speaking of characters that weren't talked about enough... Tell me why it wasn't until I started going on my Throne of Glass uh, TikTok rabbit hole to see edits and stuff. I forgot Sam existed. I completely forgot about Sam as a character until I saw some like fan art and like edits of Sam. So, um, <laughs> safe to say, I think Sam should have at least been mentioned a bit. I wanted Nehemiah to show up for a little bit, at least, but at least they, like, mentioned the impact she had and, like, some of the 
quotes she had and stuff like that. They, we definitely should have had something like that with Sam because I definitely shouldn't have forgotten that he existed as a character. Like I should, I shouldn't have remembered Rowan's ex more than I remembered Sam. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a moment guys i have finished the throne of glass series this is the longest series i've ever read and i finally have finished it and i want to just reread it again <laughs> i know there's been hints of like maybe she'll come back to the world and i hope she does it's just so well written and she could still do so much with it even though there's eight books there's still so much she could do with it if she wanted to five stars Kingdom of Ash. I'd give the I give the whole series five stars, even though there's a lot of hoopla within it. <laughs> it might be my favorite series. It just might be. But yeah, I guess that's the end of this vlog and the end of this Throne of Glass journey. If you tagged along, thank you. Um, let me know your opinions down in the comments below. Who is your favorite character? What you wish was different? And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe follow me on my socials and i will see you in the next one bye meet me on the street lights meet me where the lights fade out tell me what it feels like